Lazy horse, are you sleeping? Wake up. Follow me. Welcome to Hex Survival's How to Play video. If you have not seen the setup video and want to see it now, click on the X in the top right corner. <sighs> Lazy horse doesn't remember anything about the setup. Here's a little reminder for you, Lazy Horse. Each hero pawn has a corresponding zombie pawn and three heart cards. The objective? The objective is to hurt an opponent's hero pawns until they become zombie pawns with a purpose to be the last non-zombie survivor. The winner is the player who has one or more hero pawns, then the other players have none. In case all pawns are turned into zombies, the winner is the first one that manages to revive one of his pawns. To revive a zombie pawn, you have to reach a rebirth portal tile of the same color as the one shown in the top left of its card. Once reached it, a hero is born again with one red heart and replaces the zombie. The hero will have to be placed on his birth portal. What actions can you do in your turn? On your turn, you may do any or all of the following in any order. Push, infect, play chance cards, move. Each pawn, hero, or zombie may push one adjacent opponent into any unoccupied hex adjacent to the same opponent. In fact, each zombie pawn may infect one adjacent hero pawn. Place an infected heart near the hero's red heart cards. At the beginning of each turn of the player that controls the infected hero, add one infected heart. Once you have three infected heart cards, the hero pawn becomes a zombie as soon as the player's turn ends. Unlike the event cards, each player can use chance cards on from any of his pawns. One, and only one, of your pawns may move to an adjacent unoccupied hex, one adjacent hex per turn. After each hero pawn movement, the player picks up a chance card. Moving a zombie pawn doesn't grant you a chance card. Chance cards. Before we start, let's look at chance cards. Chance cards have a title, a description, and an image. On the upper left corner, the icons indicate the amount of damage or healing, infection or cure, and movement. The icon on the bottom right indicates the action range. The hex count starts from the pawn with which you want to use the card. 0, 1, 2. The icons on the bottom left indicate the genre. There are three types. Attack cards can only be used during your turn, before or after moving a pawn. Defense cards can be used at any time, even during an opponent's turn in reaction to an action, attack, move, etc. Event cards describe something that happens when you take them. You have to immediately execute the instructions written on the card. Lazy Horse understands and repeats. Lazy Horse takes a chance card. It is a defense card and can block any movement. When an opponent tries to move, Lazy Horse stops his movement. After that, Lazy Horse thrashes the now used chance card. Lazy Horse takes another chance card. 
It is an attack card with range two and damage one. Lazy Horse's purple pawn shoots the opponent's red pawn and injures him for one damage. <laughs> After that, Lazy Horse treasures the now used chance card. Now Lazy Horse moves his red pawn and takes another chance card. Ouch! It is an event card. One damage to Lazy Horse red pawn. After that, Lazy Horse treasures the now used chance card. Are you ready to fight? Lazy Horse versus Player 2. Player 2 will crush you. <laughs> Distribute one chance card per pawn. The player that controls Mothy, red background, always starts first. Player 2 begins. Player 2 will destroy you, lazy horse. <laughs> player 2 examines purple pawn's chance card. That is good. <laughs> Player 2 examines Red Pawn's chance card. That is... Dan. An event card. Player 2 has to immediately follow the card indications. A skeleton chomps Red Pawn's ankle. One damage. After that, Player 2 trashes the now used chance card. Player 2 examines Orange Pawn's chance card. That is... Dan. An event card. The player at my left chooses where to move player two's orange pawn. Lazy Horse chooses. <laughs> Lazy Horse moves it on a spike. One, two, zack. When a pawn moves on this style, it is injured and loses one red heart. Player two's orange pawn suffers one damage because of the spike tile. Lazy horse, you lout. Player two will exact his revenge. <laughs> player two moves purple pawn for one hex. After that, player two takes one chance card. Player two uses chance card. Player two heals red pawn by one. Player two passes. It is your turn, lazy horse. <laughs> lazy horse versus player two. Turn two. Lazy Horse looks at his chance cards. Good! No event card for Lazy Horse's pawns. Lazy Horse moves blue pawn by one and takes one chance card. Lazy Horse uses Jumping Jack Flash chance card with blue pawn and jumps into plus three card style. If you end your pawn's movement onto a plus X card style, you will get a plus X chance cards. The plus X bonus can be used only once per turn. Lazy Horse takes three chance cards. After that, the pawn is instantly teleported to its birth portal. Lazy Horse passes his turn. Stop it. Each player can have a maximum of chance cards equal to the sum of all the red hearts his pawns have, up to a maximum of five. Every exceeding card will have to be used or discarded before the end of the player's turn. Lazy Horse discards one chance card, and then, then Lazy Horse passes his turn. Many turn after. Lazy Horse versus Player 2. Turn 13. <laughs> player 2 moves Red Pawn for one hex and takes a chance card. Moving on to Move Tile allows an additional movement. No chance cards are granted for additional movements. Player 2 moves Red Pawn into plus three cards tile and takes three chance cards. Ouch! Player 2 uses Teleport to swap the position of the orange and green pawn. Double ooch! Player two uses a chance card to go toward the orange pawn's rebirth portal tile and resurrect it. <laughs> Triple ooch! Player two uses a chance card and... Stop! No spoiler is admitted here. Discover the end on... Hex Survival. Lazy Horse wants to play now. Lazy Horse 
Do you understand everything? <laughs> www.hexrevival.com